All right, everybody, welcome to another episode, another recipe of Addicted to the Q. Tonight, we are going to do party style ribs. So, we're going to first cut these open before we get too far into this. If you would like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, all the above, that would be great. We, I love doing these videos. Yes, I know I'm still fairly new at it and I'm learning, but I really enjoy these. First thing you're going to have to do, for anybody that hasn't used party ribs before, um, basically they're just cut apart of the regular rib. I got baby backs. I prefer baby backs better. Um, take a spoon, put it right underneath there, and there's the membrane. One thing I like about baby backs is they tend to peel right off a lot easier. Paper towel helps grip it because it gets kind of slimy. Say that they're not going to come off perfect this time. They are. It's just. There we go. If you don't pull this out, the world's not gonna end, but your meat can kinda get kinda tough. So we're gonna cut these apart next. It gets kind of fun because they, they're kinda hard sometimes to figure out where that bone is, especially if it's kind of a bone that's, sometimes the bones curve on you. Like I said, my dad used to have a phrase, well, I got it from his grandpa, what's not on one piece will be on another, so you don't have to get perfect, but we're gonna cut these apart. And then I'm gonna show you how I rub them. We got the good charcoal briquettes going with the Royal Oak Tumbleweed. I'm gonna cook these party ribs um, onto the Vortex system. I'm gonna move both those baskets in the middle and just have the outer ring. We'll see how fast she cooks. I've never tried this recipe. I'm curious to see if I'd rather have them as a whole slab or if I like them this way. Let's find out. I'm sorry that bird's annoying. The first rub I'm gonna use today is Sticky Pig Dry Rub Seasoning. He's out of Centralia, good buddy. Um, if you haven't tried his wing or mustard sauce also, his mustard sauce, for those of anybody that says they don't like mustard, I absolutely hate mustard, but I love his, that, barbecue, that mustard sauce. The second one doesn't have a label, but it's gonna be coming near to you soon this is my buddy brian the other guy that operates the channel it's actually going to be under addicted to the queue and white noise this is a great great rub it's like a buttery garlicky just kind of a savory rub with a little back end of heat not bad add a little of that and the second one is also what he's going to use i'm not sure on the name of it um it's kind of a maple pecan rub and it is, I use it on my ribs for competition. Not that it's a kept secret. I don't keep any secrets for recipes. Um, it's already got me a few calls already on it. So good, good rub. We're going to let these sit. And then we're going to do the other half and I'm going to throw them on the smoker. All right. This is what I mean by vortex. See how the fire's down there and the ring is around it. Um, I probably need to move that one basket over, but otherwise it's not bad. You can get a vortex basket that comes up, but we're going to, this works just fine for me for right now. So we're going to throw the ribs on. All right. The grill's sitting at about 450. So we're going to throw these ribs on. Here's what they look like before they go on the grill. Again, we're going to see how these fit on here. I think they'll be all right. We're gonna just place them around the uh, fire. And we're probably gonna let them go about 15 minutes before we even check on them or flip them or anything. I'm trying to get them to sit up like that, but some of them won't. And that's okay, we're not that picky. One thing about baby backs, they have more of a, uh, move that over a little bit if I can. Ooh, it's hot. There we go. I want it to cook a little more even instead of having that hot spot right there. 
and these actually fit perfect. So let's uh, throw her back on there, let them go for about 10 or 15, then we'll flip them. All right, these ribs have been on for about 15 minutes with the grill running at 450. We're going to kind of flip them. They look good so far, don't they? All right, we're going to let them go in there. I'm going to finish flipping them into the rest of this, and then we're going to go to 15 minutes. So tune back in, and we're going to try her again. She's running about 400 degrees. I just flipped them. It's starting to get dark, so I'll have a flashlight on. Probably not another 20 minutes or so, then I'm going to sauce them. Um, I think I'm going to sauce them with a Sticky Pig Original sauce. I might even add a little honey on it just to give it a little sweet. We like sweet around here. All right, we're going to make our sauce for these ribs. Um, this is Money Shot from Eric Burkhart barbecue sauce. It's really good. I use it on my ribs for competition. And then just some honey. I got about a cup, cup and a half of money. And I'm not measuring anything. I want these, we're going to have these ribs pretty sweet. So I'm going to throw a little honey on it. Probably just a couple tablespoons. I'm going to heat this up and that's what I'm going to put on the ribs. All right, I got one side done, soft. I'm just going to flip them over, do the other side, let them sit just a couple, few minutes to let the sauce tack up and they're going to come off. All right, here's the finished product. Those look nice and sticky and ready to eat. All right, here is the final product, ribs. They look really, really good. We're gonna try one of these real quick. They're really good. There's a little more char to them than when they're in a whole slab, so that's kind of different. They're really sweet, which is why we like around here, so I would definitely do this again.